Because wind and water currents change regularly, most searches will require multiple calculations to determine a datum. Let's put into practice what we have learnt so far by applying multiple wind and water current data to a search object. Let's pretend a powered V-hulled skiff named Pegasus radioed at 1200 hours to say they've had engine failure and the boat is drifting. We have coordinates for their LKP at 1200 hours and the search and rescue unit is expected to be on scene at 1500 hours. So we need to predict the drift line and datum for the three hours between 1200 and 1500. The water current data states that between 1200 hours and 1300 hours, the tide current going out was 2 knots, 020 degrees. From 1300 onwards, the tide started to come in, turning to 155 degrees and increasing to 3 knots. The wind data states that between 1200 hours and 1400 hours, there was a 35 knot, 225 degrees southwesterly. From 1400 hours onward, the wind changed direction to 190 degrees southerly and decreased to 25 knots. First, let's calculate the effect of the two water currents. 2 knot 020 degrees times 1 hour equals 2 nautical miles in a 020 degree direction. 3 knots 155 degrees times 2 hours equals 6 nautical miles in a 155 degree direction. Now let's calculate the effect of the two wind currents by inputting the data into the leeway formula. First find the appropriate category and subcategory, then the closest primary and secondary descriptors in the leeway table. We can then multiply the first wind speed of 35 knots with the multiplier 0.03, which gives us a result of 1.05. Now add the modifier of 0.08, which results in a figure of 1.13. This is the drift rate in knots. It now needs to be multiplied by the first time of 2 hours, which gives us a final result of 2.26 nautical miles in a 0.45 degree direction. Now the second wind current, which is 25 knots, 190 degrees. Multiply the wind speed of 25 knots and the multiplier, which equals 0.75. Now add the modifier, giving a result of 0.83. Now multiply this by 1 hour, which equals 0.83 nautical miles in a 0.10 degree direction. We can now plot these lines together to arrive at our datum and search area. Remember, if the total drift line is greater than 8 nautical miles, the line will need to be divided by 8, and the result added to the standard 6 nautical miles search radius.